Okay, speaking of Chennai, the overall residential markets have, like we said, remained lackluster over the last one and a half years and developers have slowed down new launches. But there were two regions that have been able to hold their head above water in the first six months of 2015, which are South and West Chennai, more than the rest. Why is it happening? Lakshmi Sivdas has the story. He had the pick from all of Chennai's real estate market, including newer affordable areas in the north. But because 40-year-old consultant Surya Narayan was uncompromising on connectivity, he settled on the Metro Zone project in West Chennai for the best of both worlds. From this place, for me to go to the rail station at 7 kilometers, for me to go to the airport it's around 13-14 kilometers. My bus station is in the neighborhood, which is less than a kilometer away. Like the central markets, everything is in the thing. The metro lands less than 200 meters away from the main gate, 200, 300 meters away. Like. What else can you look for on a property? It's not just Surya Narayan. Slow progress and planning on infrastructure in Chennai has made existing connectivity a key decision maker for prospective home buyers. A factor that is also one major reason why in an otherwise dull market, real estate in South and West Chennai is offering hope for revival. The two markets have recorded some of the highest launches in the city in the first half of 2015 and a rise in sales between 3 to 8 percent fueled by newly completed infrastructure initiatives. The ORR, the uh, outer ring road, which connects the south and the north, it's a 62-kilometer stretch. The first 32 kilometers has been open. That's been a big driver uh, in terms of uh, infrastructure growth. And very recently, a couple of months back, uh, Metro was uh, launched. The small stretch uh, from uh, Coimbedu was uh, launched in uh, Chennai. So that's one another big driver for uh, real estate growth. The completion of these infrastructure initiatives have also given developers leeway to price products right. They are now able to launch projects in pockets like Punamali, Ambatur and Palavaram, once considered far-flung, at more affordable rates. 80% of homes being offered by developers in the West and 50% of homes being offered by them in South Market are today priced below 50 lakh rupees. So the demands will continue to rise in South and in the West. Uh, because that's where the growth is happening, lot of growth. Only now, see, even Metro Rail, uh, only now they are talking about extending the Metro Rail to Mulagadai. These are adding some kind of connectivity, otherwise North was uh, very difficult to access. In addition to infrastructure investment, real estate experts feel that commercial development will also need to take place in North Chennai for it to compete with the South and West. For Lakshmi Shivdas in Chennai, Rinali Fernandez.